Hey guys, how's it going? Now we all love to click a lot of images and then look at them later on. But the stock gallery app on our phones just doesn't suffice. Either it's very slow or the UI isn't that exciting or there is an evident lack of features. Well, whatever your reason might be, you all have been asking me about some of the best gallery apps for your Android device to use in the year 2022. And well, that's what this video is all about. Today, I'll show you my list of apps that'll help you organize your images in simple and productive manners while also enabling you to view them super easily. Best of all, these are all completely free apps. So without wasting any time, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and let's get started. Okay, so kicking things off, we have A Plus Gallery, which is now my go-to recommendation for a third-party gallery app. A Plus Gallery is a simple gallery app for Android that allows you to manage photos, create photo albums, and share your images. It has a neat design and is super easy to use. What's more is that it can be integrated with Dropbox and Facebook as well, which means that you can view images stored on these services using A Plus Gallery directly. Additionally, the app offers a gallery vault feature as well, where you can hide your personal photos too. Next up, my personal favorite gallery app is Pictures, simply because of the modern UI with a plethora of features that it offers. Pictures comes with a clean material UI to browse through albums, while also offering some pretty interesting features. The photo editor works great and it even allows you to change the image size and remove its location while sharing. Add to that the option to share files via Wi-Fi and you have in your hands the perfect gallery app. Next up, if you're looking for a modern gallery app that lets you easily organize your photos, there's nothing better than Slidebox. With Slidebox, you can manage your pictures using gestures. Swipe up if you want to remove unnecessary pictures or pick an album to organize files. What's more is that you can easily import an album from your gallery or create a new one right inside the app. Well, that's all about features, but if simplicity is what you need, make sure to check out Simple Gallery app. That is literally, well, as the name suggests, simple. So like I said, Simple Gallery has a minimalistic design and set of features, but it also offers all the necessary functionality required from the best Android photo gallery app. Now, using this app, you can easily browse through your files and filter them out by date, size, name, etc. What's more is that you can also apply various themes to enjoy different app designs. Now, if you want an app that's even more basic, but just works very snappily and fluidly, and also does not take a lot of space, then check out Focus. Focus Go. Focus Go weighs in at just 1.5 MB. The app is super simple and works as a basic gallery app. No unnecessary animations, no load times and obviously no ads. If you're looking for a simple bare bones gallery app, this is gonna be just perfect. Okay, so while Slidebox offers gestures to help organize your images, sometimes you need a little bit more. And that is exactly where f-stop comes in. So yeah, apart from the usual gallery features that it offers, F-Stop also comes with a unique tool that allows you to sort and search images based on their metadata. As such, you can either search from the saved data or even add tags of your own. Or you can choose to search through images using a map interface based on the location. Isn't that cool? Alright, so while we're on the topic of modifying data, how about hiding them or more specifically hiding those photos? That's where One Gallery comes in. Having secure folders is nothing new, but One Gallery ensures that your hidden photos stay encrypted as well. Now that is a pretty unique feature. Other than that, it also comes with an advanced photo editor, so there's that. The animations are kind of on the heavy side, but even then it does not take up a lot of resources and it's still a pretty good and useful gallery app. And well, that was it. As always, you can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about down in the description box. Also, if you feel like there's a gallery app that you find useful but we missed out on, well, the comment section is down there for you guys to sound off and who knows, maybe we'll include it in our updated list next year. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.